okay I got a request to do a tutorial on how to animate uh, so I'm going to make this as simple and easy as possible uh, using your number pad uh, hit the zero on your number pad that'll select uh, the camera um, we see our cube here in the middle hit the letter N and bring up our transform properties box uh, if I hit the R button you'll see that I'm rotating the cube and you'll see over here rotation X Y Z are all changing and hit escape um, if you look down here in this uh, area you'll see uh, panels and you'll see that number one that means uh, that's our current frame that we're on if I go to left or right you'll see we're going up in frames and going down I can just click it hit zero or one and I'm back on frame one um, now uh, there's uh, ways to set keyframes uh, we're gonna make this uh, frame one we want to set it as a keyframe and we want this to be exactly how it is I'm gonna hit the letter I and then I'm gonna hit uh, you can either select ROT for rotation or hit number two and uh, we've now set a keyframe on one um, frame one at uh, rotation zero uh, for all axes. Now I want to go to frame 50. I'm going to select number one, hit 50, enter, and I'm going to take my cube and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to hit R and then X and then control and you'll see the numbers and the R O T X and transform properties bring it to 360 left mouse button and I'm going to select rotation Y here and I'll just hit 360 tab 360 enter now I've set all the axis uh, rotation to 360 I'm going to hit I and I'm going to hit 2 and now just insert a key in frame 50 now if you see if we go back we see that our cube is moving just by selecting back on our frames here. Take your mouse up to the top till it turns to two arrows. Right click, split area. Let's take this little button down here, go into the timeline, and zoom out here using your middle mouse scroll wheel. You'll see that uh, it's dark on the left and right, and it's light gray in the center that's uh, 250 0 to 250 um, if you look down here you see this uh, menu button uh, select your middle mouse button and you can scroll over you see start 1 and end 250 we're going to want to end it at 50 so select 250 hit enter hit 50 and then enter and you see we're on frame 21. I'm moving over more. Uh, and you see the uh, play button. And now if we hit play, we see that our cube is spinning. Now, if you notice, there's a definite end and a definite beginning uh, to the animation. You can see when it's beginning to move uh, and when it's beginning to stop and that's because of what's called an IPO curve. If you take your mouse and uh, put it in the bottom uh, middle right, uh, right click, split area, split the bottom area, go to IPO curve editor, and uh, with your mouse over that, hit control up arrow, and you can zoom out using your scroll wheel, and we see this uh, curve here. What I want you to notice is that it kind of looks like a waterfall. Uh, if I zoom in here, you'll see that it's a, it's a slope. Uh, if I click my middle mouse button, I can bring this down here. Uh, zoom in. You'll see this is a slope. I'm going to hit the tab button. Okay. I'm going to hit the A button to select all. I'm going to hit the tab button. 
and you see that uh, we are in edit mode now and if you look here I can grab this I'll hit G right click that uh, little button uh, there hit G and you'll see that you can change the slope of this curve I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna hit A I'm gonna hit A again I'm gonna hit the letter V and you see that this is straightened out this line now there's no curve anymore I'm gonna hit control up arrow and now I'm going to hit the play button right here and now you see that it's a more continuous loop uh, for animation um, now we're going to make this into a movie real quickly if you go down here to the scene button you'll see uh, it says scene F10 uh, I'm going to mouse button over here control up arrow so you can see these tabs control scroll okay middle mouse button output this is the output for the movie uh, this uh, I think is the default directory for Blender uh, it'll be C uh, TMP um, and your C drive or whatever your root directory is uh, render this will actually give us a render of whatever current frame we're looking at if I hit control up arrow you'll see that we're looking at uh, 44 and you see this view if we hit F12 we see what we're looking at uh, I'm going to hit escape my mouse over the bottom left portion control up arrow and then we have animate uh, which will actually animate our movie but we don't want to and we want to change the settings real quickly if we look at game framing settings format uh, tab here underneath game framing settings we'll see size 800 by 600 that's the size of our camera I'm gonna hit my control up arrow button and uh, if if you see here we'll make this smaller we'll go 400 by 400 you'll see that our camera actually looks like it's gotten bigger and, and that's because we've changed the size of the, uh, the the screen but we haven't changed the um, the scale of our object and so I want to make this bigger so with my mouse in this area here I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna make this bigger Hit my left mouse button I'm gonna put my mouse back over my toolbar hit control up arrow and uh, we see we're at 400 by 400 and this right here uh, this is what controls what our movies are saved as it's set for JPEG um, I don't use JPEG because I prefer uh, a different format but this right now if, if you click animate it'll make give you a JPEG for every frame and we're doing 50 frames so it's going to give us 50 JPEGs and we don't want 50 pictures we want actual movie and if you select this little uh, thing here on the left of the crop uh, you can see you can choose from different formats I use either QuickTime or AVI AVI is uh, much bigger. Uh, QuickTime is much smaller. I can, I, if I'm doing uh, video, I'll usually use AVI. Uh, if I'm use doing something on the internet, I'll use QuickTime. Uh, makes a smaller file. I prefer 30 frames per second. Keyframe every 30 frames. Okay. And one last thing before we animate is we're going to hit Control W and save our file cube animation and just hit enter now I'm going to uh, hit the animate button alright we have 50 frames animated C temp or TMP And there we go. For more tutorials, go to iwideopenmedia.com slash blender. Thank you.